How's it going guys? Thanks for watching Automotivated again. Today we got a 2010 GMC Sierra. Not sure what motor's in it. Um, but anyways, I want to show you guys uh, what I've been doing on this. The radiator cracked here on the side. I can show you guys that. Uh, where is it here? Oh, this is the bottom. Let me flip it over. So, I don't know if you guys can see that on camera. Hopefully it'll focus. Where that dark line is right there is a crack. Not sure how it happened, maybe just heat cycling. But anyways, uh, there's the uh, fan shroud right there. So this is dang near the easiest radiator I've ever replaced. Look how wide open this whole area is. Oh my gosh, beautiful. Let me put my hand in there for contrast. There's a good over a foot in here to work with. So this was super easy. Um, we got the line going to the uh, uh, overflow tank, the reservoir, I guess you could call it. We got the upper radiator hose. Um, this must be some kind of bypass hose. Um, the two transmission lines down there and then the lower hose. And then there was a couple connectors for the uh, fans that I got sitting down there, one, two. Literally, it was a matter of a couple bolts that mount right here and here. One's for the fan shroud, one's for the radiator. I always do this too. I get into a job and then halfway through, I think, oh, I should have recorded that. I'm sure the other automotive or our YouTube mechanics do the same thing. So there's that down there. I got, you kind of need a pair of the hose clamp pliers or the, the remote ones, I guess they call them. That's made by Astro, this set right here. And it's, it's not ratcheting, but it's kind of ratcheting, I guess. It locks in certain positions. You kind of need that for that bottom radiator hose, unless you want to fight with it with uh, channel locks. But mainly, I just wanted to show you guys how open this was. I'm sure there's already videos on this. 2010 GMC Sierra for the radiator. That's super simple job, so. But, well, that's that.